Well, on the mats of Bemidji wrestling team, they're young, even featuring a pair of seventh graders, but that doesn't stop their team goal of a section title. And with the move from double A up to triple this postseason, the Jacks are ready for what lies ahead. Over a month into the season, and Bemidji wrestling head coach Rance Barr has a lot of things he's liked so far from his team. They're good kids, they're good people. Um, they're, real, they're great to work with, they're coachable, they're hard workers. Uh, we have a lot of depth and a lot of balance top to bottom, so we're excited about our opportunities. Especially seeing improvement just last week after a disappointing duel at Detroit Lakes, then just a few days later sweeping through the Grand Rapids Quadrangular. We made a big adjustment from our match earlier that week. You know, we didn't give up a lot of bonus points and we capitalized on their mistakes and got a lot of bonus points. And looking at this lineup top to bottom, one of the first things you'll notice they're pretty young. We do have two seventh graders in the room this year, Dane Jorgensen and Seth Newby. Newby, of course, uh, pinned his way through the Paul Bunyan tournament, which is a very, very difficult tournament. Um, we're very excited for him. He's having a great year. We have a lot of freshmen. I think we have 15 or 16 freshmen in the room. A lot of young kids, but uh, very knowledgeable about wrestling. And they'll need this depth as they bump up to class triple A with one team in particular that they're looking out for in their section. Section finals will probably have Wilmer. They're tough, but we should be able to pull it out. They have four state place winners on their team, three returning um, state finalists. So uh, they're obviously going to score some points against uh, every team that they wrestle. So even with the bump up and a lineup featuring some young faces, this team's goal still remains the same. We have our eyes set on a section title and doing some damage once we get down at the state tournament as a team. Yeah, And we have a good chance of sending quite a few individuals to the state tournament as well. Uh, they are back in action on the road Friday at Foley, competing in that tournament. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.